Welcome to our video about diabetes leg swelling treatment. There are several options for treating diabetic leg swelling, including compression socks, essential oils, exercise, and lymphedema pumps. If you or a loved one is suffering from diabetes, you may want to consult your doctor to determine the best treatment for your condition. This article will discuss the benefits and risks of these methods. After reading this article, you will know what to expect when you experience swelling of the legs. And remember that the sooner you start treating your swelling, the better. Compression Socks When choosing compression socks, make sure they are medical grade 30 to 40 mm of mercury. You may need to be measured for the proper fit before purchasing them. Your healthcare provider or a medical supply store can do this for you. The correct fit is vital for proper compression. If you do not have health insurance, you may want to buy over-the-counter socks that are made for a light level of compression. These are available at many pharmacies and farmers markets and may be beneficial for mild swelling. These socks work by applying pressure to the legs and feet and improving blood flow. This is a proven way to alleviate the symptoms of diabetes and peripheral neuropathy, as well as improve overall circulation. They also protect the lower legs from minor injuries and reduce the risk of ulcers. You should try these socks for at least one day to see if you like them. If you don't like them, don't worry, you can always wash them in the sink and hang them to dry. A slew of other conditions can be treated with compression socks. These socks can benefit female athletes, elderly individuals, and people with poor balance. Many older patients develop poor balance and stability issues as a result of reduced muscle strength. Because neuropathy is closely linked to muscle weakness, wearing compression socks may help you avoid falls and become more independent. And you won't need to wear a walking boot to wear these socks. When wearing compression stockings, make sure you follow the directions given to you. If you aren't wearing them as prescribed, they can make it difficult to put them on or take them off. However, this can help the swelling and pain in your legs. They may also help reduce the pain associated with varicose veins. So, try them and let us know how they work for you. The benefits of these socks are numerous and can make them a valuable part of your treatment regimen. Essential Oils If you are suffering from diabetic leg swelling, you may want to consider using essential oils to reduce the symptoms. These oils are known to improve circulation and can help with diabetes-related foot swelling. In addition, they can also be helpful in relieving pain. Diabetes-related foot swelling can be a symptom of other health problems, such as heart failure or kidney failure. In some cases, it may also be caused by infection or gestational diabetes. While essential oils are known to have healing properties, there is a lack of rigorous studies to prove their effectiveness. However, some people believe these essential oils can reduce the symptoms of neuropathy and help them feel better. The benefits are not known for certain, and there are no recommended dosages. Despite the lack of research, the use of essential oils by diabetics may be a natural way to reduce neuropathy symptoms. Essential oils are made from virtually any part of a plant. Some are useful for treating joint diseases, such as osteoarthritis, and they are applied to the affected area. Others are inhaled as aromatherapy. When using essential oils to treat arthritis, be sure to choose a high-quality oil. Light can degrade essential oils, so be sure to use them with caution. When choosing essential oils, make sure to look for 100% pure oil. Some essential oils are considered safe for use in diabetic foot pain. However, they are not regulated by the FDA. Therefore, you should always follow the directions of the manufacturer when applying them to your skin. Before using them, check with your doctor and do a patch test first to make sure they are safe for you. When using essential oils in the food or drinks, make sure to dilute them. They can also cause allergic reactions and should be avoided when ingested. Exercise Exercise for diabetic leg swelling treatment can help stabilize your blood sugar, improve bone health, and improve circulation. Regular exercise also helps with glucose regulation and prevents excessive swelling. Regardless of the cause of your edema, exercise is an excellent way to combat its symptoms. However, before you start a new exercise regimen, talk with your doctor to be sure it's safe for your condition. Start by performing basic exercises, and gradually increase the intensity over time. In addition to physical therapy, you can restrict your sodium intake. Eating too much salt may cause your body to retain more fluid and can cause swelling. 
Exercise can also help you urinate more easily. Lift your swollen limb above your heart to relieve pressure. It is important to monitor your blood sugar levels closely and get them checked out as soon as possible to prevent complications. However, you may be experiencing swelling due to a medical condition, so it's important to be careful to avoid causing further harm to yourself or to those around you. A change in diet can help your legs and feet. You should limit your intake of salt and eat more foods that are naturally low in sodium. Salt can cause leg swelling in diabetics because it increases blood pressure and triggers swelling in the feet. Avoid standing or sitting for prolonged periods of time, since these affect blood circulation and cause numbness. If you do experience any pain, you should stop exercising immediately to prevent further complications. Before you begin an exercise regimen, get a physician's approval. As with any exercise, you should check your feet, heart, and circulation. If you are taking medications, your doctor will need to monitor your blood glucose levels before and after any physical activity. You should also learn how your medication reacts to different types of physical activity. Your doctor may want you to take certain supplements for extra vitamins and minerals. These supplements can help your body maintain the proper blood sugar levels. Lymphedema Pumps A lymphedema pump is one of the most common forms of compression therapy. The device consists of a pump and a compression sleeve that fits over the affected area. A high-quality pump uses multiple segments that apply sequential compression along the extremity. Patients benefit from this treatment because the pump provides the same pressure across the affected area as the patient's own body would receive. To prevent infection and recurrence of swelling, patients should moisturize their skin and wear compression bandages. It is also important to elevate the affected limb whenever possible. Light exercises of the affected limb can help encourage lymph drainage. It is also important to limit weight on the affected limb. Increasing weight on it can result in falls, ulceration, and infection. Patients with lymphedema should take their prescribed medications and avoid vaccinations and blood draws. In addition to the pumps, some patients need to wear leg boots. Some pumps come with arm sleeves and other features. They are also designed to improve circulation and prevent the development of cellulitis. However, they may not be the best option for every patient. If you have a severe case, you may need to visit a doctor. They can prescribe a prescription cream. If the swelling is caused by a virus or a fungus, you may have to take antibiotics. The best lymphedema pumps for diabetic leg swelling are those that are easy to use and effective. A lymphedema pump is an excellent choice for many patients who have difficulty using their legs. You may be able to find a pump that fits comfortably into your shoe. However, if you are unsure of the type of pump to use, a doctor will recommend a trial of a lymphedema pump. Dietary Recommendations Changing the diet is a key treatment for diabetic leg swelling. Diabetics should limit salt and consume low-sodium foods. Salt increases blood pressure and triggers swelling in the feet. In addition, standing or sitting for long periods of time can cause numbness and affect blood circulation. Therefore, eating less salt and drinking plenty of water is important. In addition, avoiding sitting with legs crossed will also help reduce the swelling. Certain medications may cause swelling, such as antidepressants and steroids. Other causes are other health conditions. Some medications, such as Octos, can also cause leg swelling. Avandia and Pyglitazone Maleate should not be used by diabetics with congestive heart failure. Congestive heart failure is a condition in which the heart fails to pump blood efficiently, which causes blood and fluid to back up into the tissue. A high blood sugar level damages the nerves in the feet, making it difficult to detect an injury. Untreated sprains or fractures can cause swelling. Left untreated, they may cause infection. If left untreated, edema can also signal underlying health problems. Diabetics should check their feet regularly to ensure that they do not have any injuries, and they should visit a foot specialist periodically. Compression socks can help to reduce swelling in the legs and feet. Compression socks are worn around the ankle to apply pressure to the affected areas and improve blood circulation. Compression socks are the most effective treatment for diabetic leg swelling, as they are tightest at the ankle. When worn properly, compression socks can help reduce swelling and increase blood circulation. They can be purchased online or from a doctor. 
Make sure to read the manufacturer's guidelines before purchasing any medical equipment or dietary supplements. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful. Stay healthy and let's beat diabetes.